Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, and welcome back to Sandy Writes. In the honour of me hitting another word count goal, I finished writing a chapter in the woods and came back, which is why I'm looking a little bit shy and a little bit sweaty. It is time to unbox my other Illumicrate box. So I bought two of these a few months ago, I think a few months ago now, it feels like it's been forever, just to keep around as rewards for me hitting significant manuscript goals. And now we're going to open this one. This one, I know the book is After the Forest. It has the Cruel Prince Sword replica, which is why I was so drawn to this one. I don't remember the theme, so we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So for the theme for this one was Fairy Tale Forest, it is the October 2023 box, and I can see on the back that the November 2023 theme was Antihero, which looks like the box, the book was Starling House, and I want that book so badly, I can't even describe it. But as always, I'm going to keep this here with the insides as a reference for what we're doing, and let's unbox. Ooh, I'm going to assume this is the replica, because this is a very similar pouch that I had a box this year that had like the poppy wall trident replica in and this was the same. So let's read a little bit about it before I open it. The Nightfell replica designed by Stacey McEvoy Corned. Our next replica is none other than Nightfell from the Cool Prince, perfect for warding against your enemies. Based on the Fog of the Air series by Holly Black. And then artwork copyright Holly Black. Interesting. And I did also reread the Cool Prince series this year by audiobook and I loved it again. I have behind Maisie Peters, the hidden up there. Which is, um, rereading that is what sparks the urge to actually get this box because it reignited my love for the cool prints. Oh, I love you. The thing is, I love little replica items. The thing is, when I have them, I have no idea what to do with them other than, like, put them on my shelf somewhere, I guess. But here she is. This is an old box, so most people have definitely already seen this by now. But it has, like, an oak leaf design up here. It's got to look like some ivy on the handle. At one point I did know what all the parts of a sword were called, because that was very important for me writing Pain Forests, but now I don't. But here. She's lovely. She is cute. I adore it. Oh, I got my trident as well. Here. These both feel like very silly, very well made. They are metal, I believe they're metal rather than like plastic. But now I have these. What would I do with them? Here we have page tabs, sticky tabs. Let's read a little bit. They are the Woodland Treasures page tabs. Artwork by Verena Lichson at Baymoth. And I take your heart away with these stunning page tabs featuring multiple elements from Bitterthorn, a book that I really want to read. I'll show you that. Thank you. I'll probably use them for something, probably more scrap um, scrapbooking than book tabbing, but they're cute and I like them. So far, the items in this box were very cohesive thematically, which is usually my complaint with book boxes, but we're going well so far. Next we have this, the Otherworld desk mat. I have been on the hunt for a desk mat. Domus Somnia desk pad, I don't know my Latin. Artwork by Kristen Engelberth at C.E. Illo. Brighten up your desk with this bewitching desk pad inspired by The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. That is a book I've not heard of. Let's open up a little bit. Ooh. It's still kind of foresty, like the other items. We've got a bird in there, we've got a key on there. I think this again fits thematically. I like this. It feels also very sturdy. It's not as like tall or deep or thick as I would like for a desk mat. I think it is the right length. I might just put some on my bedside table because I'm getting scratches all over that thing. The next item I can actually see in here is the book and then there's something else underneath which I believe is a notebook. So we're just going to like pretend I don't see the book for a second. Is this like a square notebook? It is green and gold. It is beautiful. It says for finding dreams that don't exist yet on here. Oh, it's got the apple and the fox. So I'm going to guess that's part of Hidden Bind here. We got the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, which like theme wise, the book itself doesn't really fit into this foresty vibe we got going on, but they've redesigned this so it does. And I love it. Finding Dreams Notebook designed by Fez Inkwright at Ross and Dottier. Taking inspiration from Once Upon a Broken Heart, this gorgeous notebook is ideal as your next journal. I think it might be actually. Here we're just having another look here and it's got like a... you can close it. I love when they have these little elastic things on here. That's just my favourite preferred style of notebook. This is like too big for what I would use in another notebook but it's got dotted paper. It's got... you can't see it at all. It's got dotted paper. So this is in theory, except the shape, my ideal notebook. 
but also it is green and it is beautiful and it fits cohesively with the rest of the items which is not what I would expect from this like book as a theme. I love this. And now finally onto the book. Let's very carefully lift it out of the bubble wrap. And this is like little. This is After the Forest by Kel Woods and I will read what they've actually done to customise this book before actually opening it. Okay, enjoy your Illuminate edition which features all exclusive redesigned cover, full colour printing on the hardback by Chatty Nora, our bestie, digitally printed edges and paper artwork by Loft Lennon, and a bound in author letter. I love author letters so much. They also, this seems to be like the first bit where they haven't specified that it's a royal hardback, so it seems like it's going to be a little dainty hardback. So it's suddenly two days later. I have worn the same jumper for the sake of continuity, but like my bookshelves has changed, my hair has changed. I've had a birthday. But yeah, I got disrupted as I was about to open the book, and then I got busy for a few days, so now it is just time to unbox just the book. <coughs> Onto the book. I don't remember what I was saying last time, I remember being like vaguely impressed that it's not as big as the hardcovers usually are, they usually say royal hardcover, this is not. I think I've also not seen the original cover of this book to compare what the changes they've made to it. I think I've only seen special editions. <clears throat> so, all shiny. That's okay. Oh, ooh, I like this. So the front is like very simplistic in the sense that there's no digital art. It's a redesigned cover, but it's not from the publisher as every other Illuminate box I've had has been from the publisher. So this is, it's pretty. It's very pretty. I'm just, I'm lost for words. Because again, I usually don't have much to say about the cover because it is just usually a recolored version of the original color from the publisher. So now I have this, I love that it's bronze and not just gold. I love it's swirly, it's foresty. There's a bear at the bottom. I think the author name still just being white makes it stand out a bit, but I like it. I'm into this. Spine beautiful. So she's quite thick. Let's, no, I can't skim to see how many pages it is so I start seeing the insides. Then the back is not bronze as well, well not shiny bronze, but it is the same colour. And then this edge, so it's green on just the top and the bottom. So this is digitally printed edges here, and it like replicates the design that's on the cover as well, and that's very pretty. Let's open her up. I think I started reading the description of the book last time, and I think I got to the point where it's like, it says Greta and Hans at the very start. So this is, in a sense, like a Hansel and Gretel reimagining, retelling. And as my book paper for us, the very, very loose Hansel and Gretel reimagining. I love this. So here we have, I don't know, Slight Witch's Cottage vibes. What's going on here? And then on the other side, I've seen the book. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's very cute. I love that the colours in it match as well, because a lot of end papers is just very two separate imagery, where it's the same art style, same artist, but there's no connection there. So I love that these are both sepia. They, they match. They blend together very nicely. I'll get prints of those to put on my walls. And then what I was gasping about... This is more like a case laminate rather than like the like cloth bound hardcover. And I love this because cloth bound hardcovers give me sensory issues. So this being smooth, I love. Can you hear what I did down there? Do you like that sound? So this is designed to look like, I guess like an old fairy tale book, like admire, she's beautiful. Here, have a look close up. It's got like the worn leather feel, something. And okay, it's in like a different English that I'm not accustomed to. So that's, this is beautiful. I love it. And then in the front we have the off letter specifically for Illumicrate readers. This is about Hansel and Gretel, can confirm. When I started writing After the Forest I wanted to cut open the familiar tales we read as children, turn them inside out and expose the gritty red lining. So fairy tale writing, more in a Grimm's fairy tale sense. Very fun. I also love it because it's similar to the Owlcrate version of A Study in Drowning whose jacket I just have here, which is beautiful, but the book underneath was also like a smooth case laminate, so I can actually read that comfortably about the jacket, because I'm one of the heathens who reads with a jacket on, because I hate how books usually feel. So this is nice. Look how little and tiny and delicate she is, and it's beautiful. 
This is probably going to be like one of my top ranking Lumicrate boxes because one of the things I look for most is a cohesive theme throughout the items and this one definitely has it. I think you can't go wrong with a foresty theme. There was the Owl Crate, there was the Owl Crate something book that had the luminaries in sometime last year, year before, and it's very easy just to make green foresty items and I love this. This green foresty book, the items are cohesive, they're all I say they're all practical use. I'm using the desk pad, I'm going to use a notebook. The sword lives in my jar of things. And I'm sure I'll find a use for these. And here she is again in her full glory. I'll show you this edge one last time. This one here, this is... I love a little book. I mean, it's not that little, it's quite thick. Oh, I can look at the page count now. This is about 470 pages long, so she's not a little book at all, but the size of it gives that illusion and therefore I love her. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and again, I hope to see you next time. Bye!